Summer is officially over. It's back to school today for students here in West Michigan. And for Grand Rapids Public Schools, it's opening its doors inside the public museum. We've been showing you all the progress of the museum school since it was announced last year. And this morning, 24-hour news aides Amanda Jarrett is live downtown before classes start there. Very exciting day, Amanda. Good morning, Casey. That's right. It's a big day here in just a little bit. About 60 sixth graders are going to walk inside the Grand Rapids Public Museum here in downtown Grand Rapids. They're going to head upstairs for their very first day of school here at the museum school. Very exciting. And you know, this is just the beginning for this school. It's going to eventually branch into a full middle school and one day a high school. This will be the classroom where most of our science and uh, math and art are taught. In the winding days of summer, the museum school's principal took us inside one of the two temporary classrooms. But this school experience is about much more than the classroom. It's about the lessons surrounding them. We're going to really make the best use of all the resources around us. So the history of the museum, the artifacts, and just the knowledge that's here uh, is going to be a core part of the school. John Helmholtz says what you see on the first day of class will change as the museum school grows. The plan is to renovate the museum's fourth floor, creating sixth through eighth grade classrooms, along with the school administrative office. The architects came up with a great idea where this will become the main entrance. There'll be a wall built here, so there'll be a hallway, and then we're gonna blow out this window, and there'll be stairs that go out and up to the fourth floor. Giving the school a secure entrance. There are more changes on the way, leading GRPS to launch a private fundraising campaign, hoping to garner $25 million. The district will also ask voters to approve a bond this fall for additional funds to go towards the museum renovations and changes to 54 Jefferson. The old public museum will serve as the high school building for the current sixth graders starting museum school today. We're drawing the map as we, as we walk it, but um, it's really a great new adventure. Starting today, you'll see uniformed sixth graders gracing the halls of the museum, learning and experiencing downtown. Again, today it's just the sixth graders. Next year, they'll add seventh graders. The following year, eighth graders. And eventually, they're going to open up 54 Jefferson, the old public museum for high schoolers. A very big day here. They're going to have a big red carpet event uh, this morning to welcome in students to their very first day of class here. School leaders, parents are going to be here as the museum school opens. And coming up at 6.15 this morning, in about 10 minutes, we're going to talk live to the president of the public museum about what it's like to see this become a place for classrooms. We're also going to talk to the superintendent about what parents can expect district-wide on the very first day of school. Live downtown this morning, Amanda Jarrett, 24-Hour News 8.